once again to a secret undisclosed location hidden somewhere deep in the bowels of downtown St. John's Newfoundland comes in the Library of Graphic Literature with your host Wallace Ron. Yay! So as you can tell we have returned to our old setup here uh, and we have Luna as the boss lady and producer and uh, I've reverted to being just a plain old host here. Now of course today I did have a couple of books but I decided oh, I'll wait because today is going to be Grand Tour 2022. Yay! Every year or so I do a Grand Tour of the, of the library and I, I'm loving doing it today because I'm after reorganizing and laying out the the library once again and I added a whole new bookcase to it. So this week the Grand Tour. So pause be patient with me for a second while I take the camera from its stand and we start our little tour of the Library of Graphic Literature. Okay, let's set it loose from here. No, no, don't take me out this this tripod. Oh, yay! Okay, now let's go. We'll start. Actually, let's start over in this corner here. This is this is what I call my cartoon section here. This is comic strips and cartoons, that sort of thing. And this is filled with the best in comic strips. Let's take a look up here. Okay, up here we have oh, Walter and Skeezix, the uh, uh, Gasoline Alley, Dennis the Menace, a couple of those. Ooh, Gain Wilson, a wonderful collection of his cartoons. Popeye, some Tarzan. Then down here, of course, we have the complete Peanuts, all of them, and even the Peanuts every Sunday. Down below that, we have the wonderful Pogo, 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 Pogo. Oh, and Casey Ruggles by Warren Tufts. I also have this other one lands somewhere around here. And then some other various and sundry, including two Gay and Wilson books, various and sundry comic strip collections here. Down below here, of course, is a pile of uh, uh, Prince Valiant in among there, Captain Easy. An artifact. Oh, and of course the wonderful Akira box set. Now, right here we have my complete collection of the Library of American Comics. Sorry about that. I had to move, move stuff out of the way here. Okay. And this is my complete collection of the Library of American Comics, which of course includes the Spider-Man, the Batman, Superman, Archie comic strips, all the Alex Toth books of theirs, then a heap and help of Disney books, Bloom County, Bring Him Up Father, and some other various ones here, Kingaroo, Popeye, Skippy, then down here are their essentials, then Tarzan, Starhawks by Gil Kane, who is so cool. Little Abner, at least most of it, Little Abner. Actually, I think that's close to the end of their run on it. So far, anyway. And for better or for worse, which you should get, it's an amazing set. Down here we have the artist editions. A lot of curvy ones there. Then a few more in the the Library of American Comics. Now this Little Nemo isn't. But I got that jam there, it's the Tashin, just mixed room. Up here we have Steve Canyon. We have Tearing the Pirates, Rip Kirby, X9, Lil No Orphan Annie, and of course, Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy Rolls. And up here is my, I got that in San Francisco. Now, next to the newly added DC bookshelf. So I moved the DC section from here to start over here. Up on top, of course, we have Justice League Omnibus, the Mad Archives, which are beautiful. Wonder Woman, the uh, one of my favorites, the Diana Prince one. The Kirby Absolute Editions. 
some other cool absolute editions and then a bunch of omnibuses here including some of my favorite like the legion the jonah hex oh and the kirby the days of the mob and spirit world and then of course a great variety of some of the cooler titles like the first issue special the plastic man lots of stuff bizarre world now here some people might be saying geez well what happened to all your dc archives well i went through the dc archives to, to help make room for the expanding library and i took out any of the stuff that i have already in other editions so this is all stuff that i don't have currently in a, any other printing most all of it i have in some form or another so this is what's left over that then down here it's absolutely fabulous because this is the new absolute section with v for vendetta watchmen alan moore's my alan moore section with swamp thing prometheus top 10 league of extraordinary gentlemen then warren ellis's transmetropolitan and green lantern green arrow down below here we have one of the finest sets of omnibuses ever it's the absolute sandman collection then of course is the preacher and a few others oh and right here is my own little section there my toxic comic and nobody's in control the fabulous five okay now we're back over to the main section here again now I've moved around a lot of this up here we have all the new DC omnibuses the gold and silver and bronze age ones including all those Kirby omnibuses which I know I got in different printings like this set here of course I have the set that everyone has the spirit archives then a variety of Batman titles here all the way out some Superman then Thunder Agents archives then down here we have the vertigo including some vertigo in behind the couch here oh, as a matter of fact I'll move it here a bit there's some omnibuses there some more omnibuses there and a set of omnibuses there from vertigo now oh, let's push the couch back in my cool peanuts uh, blanket there now here is a, a mixed shelf where I'm just putting stuff there for now another cool mixed shelf of different size 70s stuff and 80s and even into the 90s and then here is the let's give it a good sweep of all the down the DC omnibuses yeah and then right across there I'm loving of course the House of Mystery and the House of Secrets collection. And just above this, we also have a few other cool omnibuses, but the start of the Marvel omnibuses. So we go from Spider Man to the Avengers, Captain America, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Four, Iron Man Hulk, Thor, Tuma Dracula, and some X titles. Then here we have a pile of burn omnibuses, some Miller, and some. Ditko and Kirby and some older ones oh and then a great collection of Conan books and then we pull back to have a look at the Marvel Masterworks look at them all there's also two a bunch of them still down behind there let's move see there's a partial shelf there then there's a few more modern omnibuses here some great ones here too and on to those. Then down below we have even more. Oh, and even a, a treasury edition. Down there we have the Star Wars, uh, some John Carter. Now here, still organizing here, here's a big stack of Mike McNola stuff. And just a variety of other books and the like. All getting ready to make their way up onto the shelves. Now here we have our Dark Horse Fantagraphics Independent section. We have our complete Zap Comics, the complete Hate and Neat stuff, which is so cool. Creep Hex, Planet of the Apes, The Boys, and of course Sin City from Frank Miller. Then we have a bit of Image there, including Saga. I put away my Walking Deads to make more space for everyone else. Uh, then we got a great little set here 
of EC Books. Oh yeah, and cool Frank Torrance Keita and Brad Pack and American Flag, three great comics. And anyway, here's the complete EC set so far. Then over here, behind here, oh, let's move this out of the way. This is the complete Yusagi Yojimbo Saga. Oh, there's number nine is over there. I'm still reading it. And then a variety of other cool Dark Horse things, including American Gods, another Yusagi Yojimbo from Fantagraphics. Then a pile of Hernandez Brothers books. Patience by Daniel Klo. Down here we have Harrow County, one of the great new comics on the go. Black Hammer, also great. And Conan, the colossal Conan, the legendary colossal Conan. And behind the picture of me and my daughter Leslie is the goon. This is one of my favorite pictures of us as we're getting ready to go on the go karts. Now, over here, with the picture of me and my late brother, is my Hermes collection. Then a variety of different things. The Dread Star, which I love, 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 love. Some Alan Moore stuff there. Oh, this is Zorro from uh, Alex to Toth. Then down here is the Disney section. So there's all the Carl Burks library, the Don Rosa, some others, and the Disney Masters. There's a pile of them stacked in under here somewhere, too. Uh, and there's some more stacked here, ready to go. And in here is my uh, European section, including my much beloved Mobius books hiding there. I wish I could get them out. Oh, right here we have Locus and Palomar, some of the best comics ever done. Then up here we have Mind Management, including a cool Mind Management record. Mind Management rules is the best. Oh, and the library for Michael Moorcock stuff. Oh, Mage from Matt Wagner. And then Providence, a bit of a little dip of Alan Moore there. Then up here we have Little Lulu, a bit, bit of Kirby there, a bit more Kirby, and a bit more image there. And now we come over to one of the final sections here of it, the graphic novel section. Oh, and here of course is my much beloved spinner rack. Not spinning here. And here of course is a pile of different stuff here. There's some uh, artist editions, some books that have been taken off the shelf and replaced with others. Here we have Nelvana, Stumptown, great book. Bone, of course. The New Tukey, Essex County. Reed Fleming, El Defo, my Eisner section, and my Vanguard section, including some Wally Wood and Frank Fritz stuff. Then up here we have Trots and Bonnie, Doc Savage, one of my favorites. My Joe Sacco collection. And then right here we have the First Kingdom by Jack Katz, one of the first big independent comics. Stereo's Polyp, one I love, and a bunch of other ver variety of independent books, including Johnny Dynamite, one of my favorites, and some other cool stuff. Up here, Mac Scurry by Mac Smith, must be read. Kent State, of course, gotta have that. Then, of course, the Cerebus section with my High Society hardcover, which I adore. Then, of course, we have Blankets, Nomona, the best, uh, Scott Pilgrim, and Seconds, which is also great. Oh, my friend Dahmer over here, Former Prince Manga, uh, Charlie Chan Hak Chai, Sculptor, The Great War, Doom Boy, Mouse Guard. Some other Matkin stuff, some Shannon Wheeler stuff. Ooh, and up here is my Rick and Gary section with all this cool true crime stuff. Been drawn in quarterly with all their great stuff from Joe Matt and Seth and, uh, and uh, Chester Brown. Worth, so worth reading. Then, of course, the classic Mouse and Persepolis. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, Parker, and then way up here we have just a variety of stuff, Seth's Dominion, sketchbooks from Crumb, and just a variety of other stuff. Then up here we have, now I don't have the, my recently acquired, oh, 
there's my Terry Moore. I just got the cereal one recently, which I'll be reviewing. And up here we have Ragnarok from Simonson and Hochi Anderson's wonderful King graphic novel, which he was kind enough to, to autograph for me. You folks have to get out and get yourself that. Then we have Puma Blues, Gathering Star, and some tardy stuff from him and, and more tardy stuff here. Then a pile of PS art, art books here. Now down here, we'll move this out of the way, is my worn archives. So here's my creepy, airy, and my vampirella. Then down there, there's a bunch of Valiant stuff and all that. And then there's some more newer books here that have to be shelved. And then right over here is just all my various stuff that just decorates the place, including a swear bear, which is hard to find these days. And out the window here, you can look over and you can see Bannerman Park, where, which I live next to. And we'll close off the whole thing by looking at my work area. Here is my desk, which I sometimes share with people. Ooh, cool little cactus, my Howard the Duck little thing there. Oh, and the Simpsons on the computer like it always is. Some cartoons of mine, an expired passport. Oh, my mother box. And then this is my cabinet with all my artwork in it here. And this is my banks. This is some of my bigger books that are too big to put anywhere else. And my infinity gauntlet. Box of infinity gauntlet. And then we end right off here, right back again. Well, close to, to this area. Actually, let's have a look out this window here. That's an even better shot of Banwell Park. And then there's some so neat little things here and there, including a cool little drawing there. So folks, that's and oh, here's all my, here's my garbage, there's my art supplies. That's what a comic book artist's art supply table looks like, including the coolest little cactus. So anyway, and here's my table where I sometimes have my computer uh, keyboard and my mouse course up on the wall some Kirby artwork anyway that's it here for this week so I hope you enjoyed the grand tour special thanks to Luna of course for the soundtrack to this wonderful wonderful tour oh and here is my couch once again which has been restored to and will be in the future restored to its old place here anyway uh, next week uh, I'll have some books for you to have a look at check out our Thursday comics because uh, Dennis and I are whipping out some cool top 10 lists and uh, check out my comics positive uh, because I keep typing them up and people keep reading them anyways everyone thanks for having me over and have a wonderful week and read them comics okay love you all bye